Hey fam, welcome back to Tariq's Lifestyle and Vlog and thank you so much for stopping by. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about IELTS test for UK spouse visa and renewal. So if you've been in the UK on a spouse visa and you're wanting to extend your visa, uh, what IELTS test do you need to make? Before I go on, my name is Tari and on this channel, we talk about UK visas and immigration. We talk about life in the UK, how to safely and successfully travel to the UK and how to navigate through life as an immigrant living in the UK. If this sounds like something you're interested in, then please subscribe, turn on your bell icon so you don't miss out on any of my videos going forward. To my returning subscribers, thank you all for always coming back to watch my videos. I appreciate every single one of you. Thank you so much. Okay, so we know that one of the requirements if you're coming to the UK on a response visa is that you are able to prove that you can speak and write English language, okay? So it's an English language requirement for a UK spouse visa. So once you've been in the, you've done your IS test and you've passed your IS test and you've been in the UK for two and a half years and you're wanting to renew, then you again need to do another English language test. So yes, you heard me right. You need to do another English language test. And we've said before, I've said in my previous videos that there are certain IELTS tests that are that are acceptable. Not all IELTS tests are acceptable. Okay, and I've done a video about it, which I'll link up here for you so you can have a look. So that if you are in this category and you're wanting to apply for a spouse visa, you know exactly what test to write. Because if you do the wrong test, your, it will not be acceptable, it could lead to a delay in your visa application or even a denial altogether. So we want to make sure that we have done the right test, okay, and it should be on that video which I've talked about. Okay, so now you've been in the UK, you've applied, you've done the right test, you've get, gotten your spouse visa, you've been in the UK two and a half years or two years and nine months if you add your the three months on your the net on your passport and to wait is three years and nine months you've been here and you now want to renew okay what test do you need to do okay i'll be reading it from my ipad from the uk the uk government website so that i'm giving you the right information the government website says you may have to pass so applying to extend your visa after two point two and a half years you may have to pass a higher CEFR level if you want to stay in the UK after two, two and a half years. What you need to do depends on the level you pass in the first place. Okay, so the test you need to do will depend on the one you did at the, at the very first instance before you applied. Remember I said only certain tests are accepted. So you want to make sure you've done the test and depending on where you are as well, um, you do certain tests to prove your English language requirement. So if you've passed A1, you will need to pass at least level A2 in speaking and listening. So if you've done the IELTS test and the one you did was an A1, you want to make sure that this time around you have to do the A2, which is a, is a higher level than the one you did before uh, in speaking and listening. Level, If you pass level A2, B1, B2, C1 or C2, you can use the test result again for your application as long as your test certificate has not been withdrawn by the test provider. If you are given an exemption, you will need to pass at a test at level A1. So if you had an exemption in the first instance, you will need to do a level A1. Again, depending on your circumstance, depending on what test you did in the first place. And if in the past two years that you've been in the UK on the spouse visa, you've actually done a degree certificate or a GCSC or anything like that, you can actually use them instead of writing another test, okay? So I just thought I'll bring this to you because I've also had questions about it. What test do we need to pass if we're extending our UK spouse visa? Okay, well, I hope this video has been helpful to you. It's a quick and short one. I hope you've enjoyed it. If that's helped you, give it a thumbs up. Share with your friends and family. And of course, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. Thank you so much for watching this video. And I'll see you in my next video.